In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, as we continue to be united in prayer, as Jesus comforts us with his nourishing words, we also include in our prayers the people of Afghanistan and also the people in Haiti. And we continue to implore God's love on them. And we also join in the national uh, prayer during this pandemic crisis where the Australian Bishops' Conference have called for a national uh, day of prayer today. And so we continue to be strengthened by God's love. On, as we celebrate the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Dear friends, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel together at Shechem. Then he called the elders, leaders, judges, and scribes of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. Then Joshua said to all the people, If you will not serve the Lord, choose today whom you wish to serve, whether the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are now living. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. The people answered, We have no intention of deserting the Lord our God, who brought us and our ancestors out of the land of Egypt, the house of slavery, who worked those great wonders before our eyes 
and preserved us all along the way we travelled and among all the peoples through whom we journeyed. We too serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the, the humble shall hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears to their appeal. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. They call and the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. He will keep guard over all his bones. Evil brings death to the wicked, those who hate the good are doomed. The Lord ransoms the souls of his servants. Those who hide in him shall not be condemned. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St Paul to the Ephesians. Give way to one another in obedience to Christ. Wives should regard their husbands as they regard the Lord, since as Christ is head of the church and saves the whole body, so is a husband the head of his wife. And as the church submits to Christ, so should wives to their husbands in everything. Husbands should love their wives just as Christ loved the church and sacrificed himself for her to make her holy. He made her clean by washing her in water with a form of words so that when he took her to himself, she would be glorious with no speck or wrinkle or anything like that, but holy and faultless. In the same way, husbands must love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man to love his wife is for him to love himself. A man never hates his own body, but he feeds it and looks after it. And that is the way Christ treats the church, because it is his body and we are its living parts. For this reason, a man must leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two will become one body. This mystery has many implications, but I am saying it applies to Christ and the Church. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After hearing his doctrine, many of the followers of Jesus said, This is intoler intolerable language. How could anyone accept it? Jesus was aware that his followers were complaining about it and said, Does this upset you? What if you should see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh has nothing to offer. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and they are life. But there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the outset those who would not believe and who, was, who, would, who would betray him. He went on, this is, why you, you, this is why I told you that no one comes to me unless the Father allows him. After this, many of his disciples left him and stopped going with him. Then Jesus said to the twelve, what about you? Are you do you want to go away too? Simon Peter answered, Lord, whom shall we go to? You have the message of eternal life, and we believe. We know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. good for us to reflect on Peter's reply in the gospel today. To whom shall we go, Lord? You have the words of eternal life. And this is the faith which we profess. As we focus on Jesus, we also approach him as our hope and our guide and the very life that we live especially in the sacrament of the Eucharist. The sacrament of the Eucharist continues to nourish us with the very life that we receive from Christ through baptism, that sustains the life of Christ that we all have. But of course, during this time of pandemic and lockdown, the physical um, presence is it most impossible. However, the presence of God still continues with us, especially in his living words proclaimed in our Eucharistic celebration, even though we participate through live streaming. It is the very life that continues to offer us, the very life which we also approach and prompts us all the more to focus our life on Jesus amidst the challenges that we face. For there is the very hope that we um, offer, the very hope that assures us. Let us continue to be strengthened with that hope. For Peter's faith is our faith, approaching the Lord. To whom shall we go? None other else but Jesus himself. For we believe that his words are active and his presence continues because the very life which he showed us is the very life we continue to live. Let us now profess our faith, 
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear friends, God is the source of all life. Let us now bring our needs before the God of all. That the church will be faithfully preaching the gospel in times of trial. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That all world leaders may foster an increase of justice and charity for refugee and asylum seekers. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer that we may give the support needed to the victims of the earthquake in Haiti. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That people applying for protection in our country may have the grace of God with them in times of uncertainty. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are ill may have the grace of God with them in their need, especially Michelle McMahon, Sally White, Paul Paino, Bernadette O'Connor, Grace Breslin, Sharon Goldsworthy, Arthur Gilbert, Roberta Burns, Robert Evans, Melville Miranda, Gian Sabrina, and for those who are affected by COVID-19. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in the love of Christ may come to know eternal life with God, the Father of all. And for those whose anniversaries occur at this time, Mary and Bruce Cummings and Mary Gibson. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Loving God, your words are spirit and life. Hear our prayers and grant us the strength we need to serve your human family with compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good, the good of all is holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit to whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael the Archangel, St. Mary Magdalene, St. Mary of the Cross Michaela, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, our merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray together to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the, power, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, the sins of, the of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I invite you now to take this moment to pray the acts of spiritual communion and also for some moments of your own personal prayer.
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for participating with us to our live stream of the Eucharistic celebration. Join us once again this Tuesday at 10 a.m. for our live stream broadcast of our Eucharistic celebration as we continue to pray and also to focus our lives once again with Jesus who gives us an assurance of hope and the love that we all need, the love, the active love that we also share to one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.